you're looking forward to most about your first Cyhawk duel? Uh, I'd say just being able to compete in it. I wasn't able to compete in it last year. I was. It was a funny story actually. We were at a football workout and we got done, and I like ran back into the locker room to catch. I think it was Gabe's match. So I'm just excited to compete in it. Is there any urgency that time when you're in practice to get done a little bit quicker? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep, I got my stuff done and I ran all the way back into the locker room and threw it on. What do you think the atmosphere is going to be like? It's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's Car Rock Arena. It's Cyrock Duels, so it'll be good. I'm excited. Growing up as an Iowa, you know, an Iowa wrestler, this is uh, a big thing for you know youth across the state. Do you have any memories from Cyrock Duels when you were younger, growing up? Uh. None that really like stick out. Just I remember being here watching the duels. That's about it. But yeah, I mean, it's a big event, so it's gonna be exciting. How excited are you to wrestle a guy like Younger Bastida, who's proven a lot at this level? Uh, I mean, not any more excited than I guess. Like I, I mean, I, I go in every match with the same mentality, so I mean, it's just just another match. So it doesn't really matter who I have. You know, the series has been kind of one-sided for the last couple of decades. Do you guys? Think about that, talk about that, or is it just kind of a side note and doesn't really have any effect on how you prepare or get ready for this? No, I mean, people know that, and I think coaches know that, athletes know that, and so they don't really say much about it. It's just kind of come in, do your work, and get out. How much do you study opponents before you face them, or do you do any? None, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, I kind of leave that to my coaches. I like to focus on uh, what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. uh, it's... It's good to kind of know a little bit like what they're going to do, but not not focus too much on that and be more focused on yourself. One of the things that Tom has said a lot about you is just being conscientious and being a learner. So throughout the first couple of matches, what has been their message to you about, you know, throughout the season, what you've kind of taken the most from in those matches so far? Yeah, I'd say the biggest thing is kind of like I said earlier, just like taking everybody the same. I mean, my first match, my mindset was a little different compared to the next match, and they just – Every match has to be the same mindset. When that happens, a lot of good things will happen for me. And I'm talking with you this offseason, you mentioned how much Gable Steveson, his path had kind of inspired you. So now yeah. seeing him jump back in the wrestling ranks, how exciting is that to potentially have an opportunity? It's to fun. With it's, him? I mean, it's, it's exciting, right? He's Olympic champ, so it's, that'll be fun to test myself against. How are you carrying the fall <clears throat> from um, last weekend to this weekend? Anything you learned? Anything you want to? improve on or keep consistent uh i mean yeah i mean every day i come in here it's just I'm, I'm getting better that's my mindset so there's nothing like too too specific i guess you could say but uh i mean yeah it's just every day i'm in here coaches want me to get better i want to get better i'm gonna stay in the room until i get better so that's kind of kind of always the goal thanks man. Yeah. thanks man.